thank you for offering to help me open up. I know you're not a big fan of early mornings. Hey, that's what I'm here for, right? To support you. Well, that and to look sexy and edgy. You wish. So you're going to try and visit your grand today? See how you're getting on? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, after I finish my shift. You know, I still can't believe all this is happening. First she's locked up in prison, and then the next minute she's in hospital. Hey, she'll be all right. She's tough, and she's a fighter. It's probably where you get it from. I've got to take this. Hello? Hello, mate. How are you doing? You've got to be kidding me. Was. Hey, listen, you just keep your head down and I'll come see you as soon as I can, all right? Yeah, okay. Hey, you take care, brother. What's all that? Well, what does it look like? Red wine, white wine, lager. And you didn't order it? No. No, it must have been Jeff. You know, first he ignores me and applies for an alcohol license without even telling me, and now this. Hi, the takeout menus are just on that table. Alia? Oh, great. Just what I need. All right, calm down. I'm not here to argue. I just want to just want to talk to you. Oh, about what? The dozen or so cases of booze you've ordered? I told you I'd applied for an alcohol licence. What did you think I was going to do with it? I know for a fact that the Rovers are making a few bob doing a takeaway service, so why shouldn't we? Anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about. All right, what do you want to talk about? It's to do with what you said about us running this place together. You're absolutely right. It's not working. Finally. Something we can agree on. Yeah, I thought you'd be happy. Yeah, I am for once. OK, well, I'll talk to Imran, get him to draw up a contract. Well, we'll steady on. Don't you want to know what I'm offering you first? What you're offering? I'm buying your share in the business. Oh, no, I think you've got your wires crossed. No, I meant you sell to me. Are you for real? You want me to sell my share in the business, my family's business, to you? In a nutshell. You really are a sad, deluded little man. You know that? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, as well as being vindictive and spiteful. Well, you're just about to find out how spiteful and vindictive I can be when I set my mind to it going to be about an hour's wait, I'm afraid, because, well, the chef hasn't turned up and I'm on my own, so... Hello? Hello? You drink. You're welcome. Oh, Naveed, it's Alia. Where are you? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago and I'm rushed off my feet having to cook everything and, and take all the orders and... Whoa. What do you mean? You got a message telling you not to come in. From who? No, I should have known. No, it's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Hiya. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. If I were you, I'd get your order in quick. The service here is pants. You see what I mean? Look, if I were you, love, I'd have a bit of a career rethink. Get out. What? You heard me. Oh, behave. I haven't even had my order yet. Tough. No, get out. Come on! All of you! We're closed! Get your stuff! Go! Oh, did you not hear me? I said, get out! Get out! Get out now! I didn't mean to upset Sally just now. Will you tell her I'm sorry? Yeah, I'll have a go, but I don't think it'll do much. She still thinks it's all my fault, doesn't she? Well, she's grown pretty close to Yasmin these last couple of months. And what about me? I'm her father-in-law. Is there a fire? Uh, no, not a fire. It's just our waitress is off her head. No, it's, it's Alia. I think there's something wrong. You might want to check on her. What's going on here, then, Alia? I've had enough. This place and especially of him. Flippin' heck. Talk about the apple not falling far from the tree. What did you say? Nothing. I asked you a question. All right, Alia. 
Just calm down, eh? I said, what did you say? 